Jazz, this is the moment you've waited for. You've been searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor. You're buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore. Taking your breath, stealing your mind, and all that was real is left behind. Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you. It's only this moment, don't care what comes after. Your fever dream catches you, you're getting closer. To surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open. It's a picture in the pulpit and your blind devotion. There's something breaking at the brick of every wall that's holding all that you know. So tell me, do you want Hello, exhibitors. Thank you for joining us for our final Know Before You Go webinar. We know you're all excited to get this show started. T minus 18 days until showtime. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Tia Hagen. I am the Customer Success Coordinator with AEM, here to support you with prepping and planning your booth space. During our time together today, I will go over the information you need to know before you go, including shipping information, food options, the exhibitor donation program, badge pickup locations, and the remaining September deadlines. Please note that the presentation and slides will be emailed to you next week. Many of the slides are hyperlinked for your convenience. The chat discussion is disabled, but the Q&A is enabled for you to type your questions. You are all welcome to ask questions throughout the webinar, but at the very end, our team will verbally respond to all questions asked. If you need additional support throughout, please contact us via email at exhibitors at AEM.org. You, well, you, you can note here on the Know Before You Go first slide that the show dates and hours are as follows. Tuesday, September 26th, 8.30 to 5 p.m. Wednesday, September 27th, 8.30 to 5 p.m. And Thursday, September 28th, 8.30 until 2 p.m. This image here is the overview map for the 2023 show. Please reference and familiarize yourself with the layout. The highlighted areas are first aid, food, registration, regular show information, the community zone, golf, start, golf cart stops, taxi pickup locations, rideshare pickup locations, and the hotel shuttle information. How will you get your equipment and items to the show? Let's start by discussing shipping to the show. Shipping and material handling instructions can be found on the second page of the shipping and material handling order form. The order form can be found within your service manual. Please take the time to review the instructions. Note that the bill of lading should contain the number of pieces, the type of merchandise, and the certified weight. If you have questions, please contact services at 502 367-5321, or you can email them at exhibitor period services kyvenues.com. This is a visual of the shipping and material handling order form. Please note not all please note that rates are based on a per shipment basis, meaning if you ship three separate boxes, that will be considered three separate shipments, meaning you will be charged three times. If you have questions regarding the shipping and material handling, please contact the Kentucky Exposition Services directly. The email and telephone number is provided to you below. The advanced warehouse and direct to show site address are the same. The labels you see here are provided to you on the third page of the shipping and material handling form. Please note that the advanced warehouse deadline is September 21st and the direct to show site begins on September 22nd. You are all welcome to print and use these labels provided to you or you may use your own. Outbound shipping labels can be picked up at the Fern service desk located in the East Hall during show hours.
clean floor policy. The clean floor policy um, is for all exhibitors and all exhibitors must follow, meaning all aisles must be 100% clean and cleared by 5 p.m. on Monday, September 25th. I repeat, 5 p.m. on Monday, September 25th, the day before the show. The marshalling yard is where all trucks, including mobile equipment for indoor and outdoor exhibitors, will be directed to the marshalling yard. The marshalling yard is located in lot H. You can go to gate four and the address is 2801 Crittenden Drive, Louisville, Kentucky, 40209. This is where your shipment or your this is where you will be released for your boot delivery or dock access after your clearance from the appropriate lot manager. If you have specific questions regarding move in, please contact the operations team via email at operations at the utility expo.com. Privately owned vehicles, also known as POVs, must also check in at the marshalling yard to gain dock access. The difference between a privately owned vehicle and the process on the previous slide is that you can keep the privately owned vehicle within your booth space during the install. If you need confirmations, please contact the operations team via email at operations at the utility expo.com. Please reference and review all of the information provided to you on this slide. Key notes to take away is that parking during installation and dismantling is free. Show day parking, you will need to purchase a parking pass for each vehicle. The cost is $10 per parking pass. If you need to purchase a parking pass, it is hyperlinked for your convenience. There are a limited number of show day parking passes available to all of our exhibitors. The passes can be picked up on a first come first serve basis in the show office by yours truly in room EH1, East Hall, room number one. Service vehicles for outdoor exhibitors only, um, one service vehicle is allowed in your exhibit area. A service vehicle sticker is required and the vehicle must be parked within the perimeter of your assigned exhibit area. The service vehicle pass form is in your service manual under the tab outdoor exhibitors. You submit the form to operations at the utilityexpo.com and you pick up your service vehicle pass in the show management office, room EH1 near the North Lobby registration area. While you're thinking of moving in and all the items you will be bringing to the show, please keep in mind donating to the exhibitor donation program. The title is hyperlinked for you to access more information. The items must be accepted in the program to be donated. Exhibitors who leave materials behind in their booth without written approval will be subject to removal and cleaning fees from the KEC. To help exhibitors become more sustainable, the Utility Expo has created this program to to assist exhibitors in repurposing gently used materials after the show. Information was sent over email, but this is a quick recap for you here. The items that are accepted and can be included are electronics, TVs, computers, projection equipment, furniture, including chairs, sofas, tables, counters, ladders, vacuums, etc., and decorations and plants that have not been rented. If you have any of these items and would like to donate, please contact John Rosam or myself. You can contact John Rosam via email at jrosam at aem.org, or you can contact us at exhibitors at aem.org. The deadline is September 15th. All right. We want to make sure that all of the exhibitors moving in from September 21st through the September 24th are aware of the concerts that are going on simultaneously. The festival info is hyperlinked for your convenience. There may be increased traffic during this time and we'll be working closely to monitor it. Security guards will be stationed throughout the indoor and outdoor areas 24 hours a day and the outdoor lots have fencing surrounding the exhibit areas.
food. The food options during move in are listed as follows. Please note, not everything in these locations will be open for the entirety of the hours, but there will be at least one option available during the hours listed. Friday and Saturday, you will see here that the only options for food are located in the South A lobby. Sunday, additional options are available in the North Wing, as well as roaming carts in Lot E and in Lot K. For those of you that are not aware, Lot E and Lot K are both outdoors. The QR, the QR code um, visual here is live and will provide you with the food and beverage options and locations. Food locations for show days. This slide here will give you the on-site concessions location in hours, meaning Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. The following options are available to you, and the QR code that is visual that is a visual here is the same as it was on the previous slide. New to 2023, we offered prepaid lunch options for efficiency and convenience. Tuesday and Wednesday's prepaid lunch options are sold out, but there are still limited options available to you for Thursday's prepaid lunch buffet. The buffet is available in the Broadbent Arena on Thursday from 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. It includes the following for $25. Southern barbecue, field green salad, mustard baby red potato salad, golden fried chicken, smoked, por smoked pulled pork, baked beans, three cheese mac and cheese, assorted cookies and brownies, and artesian rolls. The deadline to purchase this is September 13th, and you purchase this lunch option by going into your registration portal located within your exhibitor dashboard. This is where you all purchased your exhibitor staff badges. You will then click on the staff roster and you will see a food icon located in the middle of your screen. When you click the food icon, you will then be able to purchase the prepaid lunch buffet for Thursday for each person that you select on your staff roster. If you need assistance or if you have additional questions, please contact us at exhibitors at AEM.org and we'll be happy to assist you. I know you have all heard of, of me speaking of maximizing your exposure and taking advantage of upgrading your exhibitor directory. This is very important. I, even though I've already mentioned this, I would like to take the time to show you this visual. The top image here that you will see, everyone has unique to your own individual company located on your dashboard. Each exhibitor will see this activity on the top left of their exhibitor dashboard. By upgrading from the standard package to the gold package, you have access to all of your leads. When you receive access to your leads, the information stated here is the information that you will be provided with by upgrading to the gold package. This visual shows you that the exhibitor who upgraded to the gold package now has access to 51 different people and their company information. We will now take a poll. Are you interested in upgrading your standard package to the gold package? Please answer yes, no, or already upgraded. If you answer yes, your account advisor will contact you to discuss upgrading your directory listing. If you do have any questions in the meantime, as always, email us at exhibitors at AEM.org. Meeting space requests. If you would like to rent a meeting room for your team members to relax and recharge, or if you would like this, if you would like the space for business, you can request a meeting space through our Utility Expo website. The meeting space request title is hyperlinked for your convenience, and limited rooms are available. If you need assistance while on show grounds, please go to the show office meeting room EH1 for assistance. You'll, say, you'll see here that the rate for a half day, which means four hours or less, is $600, and the rate for a full day over four hours is $750. The audio visual deadline is tomorrow, September 8th. If you need audio visual, please make it a priority to complete your order today. 
If you need assistance, please contact Lisa directly at the email and telephone number provided. Please also be sure to use the password utility2023. Again, the deadline is September 8th, which is tomorrow. Booth furnishings and accessories are available to you for purchase through your service manual. If you have, if you have any questions regarding your booth ordering needs, please contact the firm team directly. This is their contact information, exhibitor services at fernexpo.com, and the 800 number is provided to you. The deadline is September 10th. Display hanging signage and forklift labor. The deadline is September 10th. Um, please do keep in mind this is separate, but all, high, all hanging signs must arrive to the advanced warehouse by September 21st. So if you are shipping your hanging sign to the advanced warehouse, please be sure to order your labor for display, hanging signage, and forklift by September 10th. If you need assistance, please contact them directly. To give you a little break from the deadline discussion, I'm happy to share with you the Utility Expo mobile app. Attendees and exhibitors can maximize their time by downloading and utilizing the mobile app. You can navigate the exhibits and food concessions using the interactive maps and view all the exhibitor lists and locations. You can also receive show alerts and the latest updates. You can also look up education sessions, and this will be available to you on September 15th. Catering information. Friendly reminder to all of you that all food and beverage must be purchased through Levy. Again, please, please note, all food and beverage must be purchased through the official vendor, Levy. If you need catering, the menus are hyperlinked to the ordering forms. The deadline is September 15th. Please note that after this date, orders are subject to $150 late fee and restricted menu access. I repeat, $150 late fee and restricted menu access after September 15th. Fuel for equipment and generators can be purchased through your exhibitor service manual. Please note that the standard rate for gasoline orders was applied on September 1st, 2023. Please also take the time to review this information provided on the slide. The minimum purchase of six gallons is required and must be prepaid based on your estimated needs. Again, you submit your fuel order through your exhibitor service manual. It is located on, underneath the outdoor exhibitor tab labeled equipment refueling. Exhibitor group badge pickup. If you booked an appointment, exhibitor group badge pickup was offered to you if you purchased 10 or more badges for your team. I said that a little confusing. So if you if you purchased and submitted for 10 or more badges for your team, then you were able to book and schedule in a group badge pickup. If you did not have over 10 badges purchased, this was not an option that you could take advantage of. Um, but for exhibitor badge group pickup, again, it's appointment only, and you can look, you can pick them up at the location, the North Lobby registration desk on Saturday, September 23rd from 8 until 3 p.m., Sunday, September 24th from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., and Monday, September 25th, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., all located in the North Lobby registration desk. Exhibitor contacts Exhibitor contact must distribute individual staff badges prior to entering the show grounds. Staff cannot come onto the show floor without a badge. I repeat, staff cannot come onto the show floor without a badge. Install and dismantle, oops, excuse me. Install and dismantle buttons, also known as IND buttons, will be provided by the floor managers. You can also pick them up in the show office and at the service desk. The image on the top left is what the IND badge looks like this year. 
If you did not make an appointment for group badge pickup, each individual person will need to pick up their own badge at the locations provided here. You are not able to pick up another staff member's badge. Please have your teams plan accordingly. This bottom visual here on the left hand side is an example of what an exhibitor badge will look like. Please note that if you did take advantage of any of the prepaid food options as an exhibitor, your launch ticket will automatically be included in on your show badge. If you have not purchased your show badges, please do so at your earliest convenience because the rate does increase for the show dates. So the, the rate will increase after September 25th. Hotel shuttle information. Hotel shuttle hours of services are provided to you here. Please note there is no midday service. I repeat, please note that there is no midday service. Service is every 10 to 15 minutes and you can scan this QR code for more shuttle information. Golf cart service is provided for the attendees as well. There are five designated stops around the show floor, and you can, you can view the overview map for those stop locations. The golf cart services are from Tuesday from 8.30 to 5 p.m., Wednesday, 8.30 a.m. until 5 p.m., and Thursday, 8.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m., and the pickup is every five to seven minutes. The Association of Equipment Manufacturers, also known as AEM, have their own booth and you are all welcome to join us. AEM members are welcome to lounge in the booth throughout the day and non-members are welcome to stop by the booth to discuss membership benefits. We are now going to run a poll. Are you interested in information on becoming an AEM member? Please answer yes, no, or already a member and the correct account advisor will reach out to you to discuss the membership benefits. Please note here that the AEM booth location is EH2217, EH2217. Due to the instant message nature of text messaging, text messages received outside the customer service hours listed above will not be received by our team, but if you have an inquiry outside of the customer service hours, please contact us via email at exhibitors at AEM.org. I do apologize, I did not announce what this was. It is our new to 2023 exhibitor texting program. So if you need any assistance from our customer success team, your account advisor, the operations team, or your floor manager, please text 414-377-5992. Again, 414-377-5992 for any of your needs while on, show, on the show grounds or you can call our customer success number that is located right here, or you can also email us at the famous email exhibitors at AEM.org. Keep in mind that the customer um, service is available from 8 to 4, September 20th through the 22nd, the 23rd through the 25th from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., September 26th through the 28th, which is show hours, 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. and then after the show for dismantling September 29th from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. Please note that these hours are in Eastern Standard Time. Back to our final deadline I would like to highlight today. Your or you order your booth cleaning through your service manual or you can contact all convention cleaners directly with the email and no telephone number provided to you here. The deadline for booth cleaning ordering is September 19th. Fern has their own exhibitor service desk hours. The service desk, hour, the service desk for Fern is located in the East Hall, and you will see their hours as stated here for installation, show days, and dismantle. This concludes our Know Before You Go webinar. I would like to take this time to introduce Sarah Stromsky and Brianne Summers. 
Both will be supporting me in answering the questions asked in the Q&A. Can you please also give Ariana Christensen a warm welcome to our team? If you do have a question, to submit a question at the top of the Teams window in the taskbar, the Q&A option is in the middle of View and Notes, and you can click on it. And our team will happily answer your questions now. Thanks, Tia. So we did have some difficulty with the Q&A, so we are putting questions in the chat just to clarify that. Um, we have already had a few come through, so I'll just go from the top down. Um, Tia, this one is for you. It says, where did you say to go get the pass? I would think that was during the parking pass slide. You can come to EH1, that is considered the show management office, and I will be in there with our customer success team. Perfect. Um, next question is from Denise, and it says, what are our options for obtaining the attendee list prior to the show? The attendee list is not ever shared. The option for exhibitors to take advantage of their leads would be upgrading your directory listing that you can have access to all of your online leads. And you can also utilize the free marketing kit, which is available to you located in your exhibitor dashboard. And all of those assets are free for you to utilize besides the postcards. The postcards is um, a way that you can utilize the attendee list prior to the show. You'll never be able to see the actual attendee list, but you can target based on your target audience with the official vendor. And then for a small fee, they will actually send the physical postcard to the audience that you requested to invite them to your actual booth space. Thanks, Tia. And if anyone wants additional information on that, you can contact your account success advisor or email us at exhibitors at AEM.org. Um, next question is from Amelia. Do we have a schedule to schedule a FedEx pickup for outbound shipments that were originally shipped to the advanced warehouse? And will they be picked up from our booth and brought to the outbound shipment location? Brianne, do you want to take that one? Yeah, um, yes, you will need to schedule with FedEx if you are using them as your official carrier. Um, and then will they be picked up from our booth? So once you schedule your shipment with FedEx, you will still need to go to the service desk to complete your bill of lading and of course label and pack all of your shipment. And then the KEC will pick up your shipment from your booth and then load onto your outbound carrier. So if it's FedEx, they would load onto um, FedEx's truck that came to pick up other shipments. Perfect, thank you. Um, Bonnie asked, someone named Dan from Fern called to ask me about ordering gasoline for the show. Was that legit? Yes, that was legitimate. Thank you. It's always good to verify. Sometimes there are some scams that go on. Um, Jennifer asked, can I pick up badges for my group? Yeah, do you want to address that with the group badge pickup? Yes. Um, unfortunately, unless you scheduled a group badge pickup, with ordering or with purchasing over 10 badges, you are not able to pick up your team members badges. Each individual person will bring their ID um, or their QR code from their confirmation email and you can go directly to the registration area at the airport or right on show grounds and then they can print their badge directly. The reason behind this is because they will not have access to the show floor to meet you to get your to get their personal show badge from you. So no, please direct them to the registration area themselves to print their badges. Thank you. Um, how do I access water for Lot K? The Expo Center's water forum said not available for Lot K. Um, yeah, Amy, I believe you're with Vermeer if I'm correct, um, but I will reach out to you on how we can coordinate that. We do have a couple of options in K. Um, we also do have a water truck. So depending on your needs, we can work together to get that for you. Thanks, Brianne. 
Okay, Dean asked, our vehicle will be in our booth EH2311. How do we get it to our booth after going through the marshalling yard? Uh, Grand, okay. would you mind? Oh, go yeah. Ahead. Um, how do we get? It? So, um, when you say your vehicle will be in your booth, I think what you're saying there is you have a vehicle that you're displaying in your booth, and you're asking how it's going to actually arrive through there. So, once you check into the marshaling yard with that piece of equipment or that vehicle. Um, you are going to be dispatched to whatever loading dock is available or freight door that is available for you to, if your vehicle is drivable, so considered rolling stock, um, you will be dispatched to that freight door and then a floor manager will direct you to your space where you will then place your equipment. Excellent, believe, thank you. Yep, I believe that answered the question, but if I misinterpreted that, please let me know. All right, next question is, can we get a recording of this meeting? And I'll take the answer to that. The answer is yes, it'll be sent out next week to all exhibitors. So that'll go to the primary contact on the exhibit order. So if that isn't yourself, you can just ask, ask whoever that is to forward it along to you. Um, next question from Nicholas. My company has designated a private shuttle bus to pick up our guests outside of the South Wing entrance once the expo has concluded. Is this allowed? Uh, this is allowed, but we would like to, of course, get this information and make sure our shuttle provider is also aware. So, um, Nicholas, I will. Can I obtain email? Yeah, if if you could email us at operations at the utility expo dot com with the information of your shuttle, uh, we will work together to coordinate that. OK, perfect. I'm just going to put that operations email. In the chat here for everyone or for Nicholas. OK. Next question, if we purchase the lunch buffet, will we get tickets on site to enter the area for lunch? I can take that one. Um, for anyone that pre-purchased the lunch options, it is automatically included in your show badge. So when you arrive to the line for the lunch buffet, um, or if you took advantage of the other lunch option for the $26 grab and go, then that would also be included on your show badge. So on the back of your show badge, it'll state that you have already prepaid and purchased that. Thanks, so no, Tia. you will not get a separate ticket. Thank you. Um, Heather put in the chat, I have already purchased parking at the Kentucky Exposition Center rate of $10 for all three days of the show and have been supplied with a QR code for parking. Will that work? Yes, that will work. Great. Um, Amelia asked, is the bill of lading something I can go ahead, do ahead of time for my outbound shipment? It is something you could do ahead of time, but we don't suggest you do this ahead of time in case there is any change in your shipment information. Um, that bill of lading is provided on site, so um, we suggest waiting till you're on site to complete that. Thanks, Brianne. And looks like Ellie asked, are we able to purchase a parking pass for the days of the show at the gate, or do we have to purchase a parking pass in advance? Um, so you can purchase it at the gate. Um, we, of course, suggest you purchase it ahead of time, then it moves a little bit quicker. Um, you know, not holding up lines at the gate, but of course you can still purchase um, once you arrive at the gate. Thank you. And then it looks like our last question for now, unless anyone has anything else, feel free to put it in here. Um, what about hotel booking?
I can take that one. Um, if you don't mind for the hotel booking, I can provide you with specific detail if you email us at exhibitors at AEM.org. Um, then we can take that offline and I can assist you with the hotel vendor. The hotel vendor is Merits. Um, and I can get you connected and we can sort that out. Perfect. Thank you, Tia. Um, can you please include the link to purchase the ticket for parking? Yes, that is actually hyperlinked on the slides. And when the slides and the recording are emailed to you next week, that'll definitely be included. But if you need it sooner, you can email us at exhibitors at AEM.org today, and we will happily forward that over to you. Excellent. Thank you. I'll just give it another minute in case anyone wants to type any other questions. Eighteen days. I'm feeling excited, everyone. Can't wait to get to the show site. OK, Heather has a question coming, so we're going to hang on and wait for that. <laughs> Is there any way to get around the inflated bottled water cost at the show? Um, I don't have a confirmed answer, but I can state that all food and beverage must be purchased through the official vendor Levy. So if their rate is the one that you are asking about, then no, we would have to purchase all food and beverage, including the water through Levy. I will say what our show team is doing is ordering the like jugs of water through them instead of the bottled water and then having all of our staff bring reusable water bottles from a sustainability perspective as well. Great job, Sarah. Thank you for that. Um, OK. Looks like Nicholas is coming through with another question too, so I'll give it a few more minutes. We're running ahead of schedule anyway, so everyone feel free to put those in there. Um, if we are being transported to the expo by Uber or Lyft, is there a specific location they need to be aware of to be dropped off? Yeah, so um, they will drop off in a couple different locations. So one is located at the front of the uh, Kentucky Expo Center, where pretty much I, I would say the closest landmark for you would be Lot K and then, of course, the indoor exhibits. So if that's kind of the area that you're trying to get to, um, be sure to designate to that stop when you're selecting your trip. If you want to go to Lot E, which is behind the Kentucky Expo Center, there is also a designated drop off and pick up location there. So you will have two different options and both put you um, close to where you need to be. Perfect, thank you. Um, next question from Karen, where can I source water for dust control for our outdoor demos? Um, so Karen, I'm not sure where you're located, but if you're in lot E, we do have a water truck that we have available and could be dispatched. OK, lot K, perfect. Um, so if you are in need of that um, for some dust control, uh, you can just connect with your area floor manager. Um, we can also connect ahead of time if um, that's something you're going to need on a consistent basis. Um, so if that is the case, please email us at operations at the utility expo.com and we will get that coordinated. Perfect. And I'm putting the operations email in here again so you don't have to scroll up. All right, any other questions? I'll give it another minute and see if anything comes through.
Okay, looks like we're wrapped up then. If anyone ha thinks of anything additional after this, feel free to email us at exhibitors at AEM.org. Give us a call on that phone number that Tia put up earlier. Um, or next week, as Tia mentioned, the recording will be sent out of this with the PowerPoint slides. So you'll have all the links you need in there. And we're always happy to help. Thank you.